so hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm gonna cover up my workflow so it's gonna be an extremely good workflow that i'm gonna show you so in the previous video i used the same workflow and you might be wondering what is it so let's go ahead and so first off to start with actually there are three things in my workflow first dwm my window manager second tmux the terminal manager you can say and then third vim the main code editor that i use nowadays let's go ahead and look at the first thing i have in my workflow which is dwm you can see this is so simple um you can see there's a bar on the top and then there are one two three four five six seven eight workspaces and I can switch between every one of them, as you can see in the top. And I have them kind of organized, so you see, like if I want to open Firefox, let me show you. So every web thing goes to uh, workspace one, and then when I want to do the main work, it just goes right there. Um. So like really so the main code comes right here you can see so when i want to go to firefox i just it just on my mind so when i go to when i want to go to firefox i just press windows one right here i want to go to mark windows two right there so easy manage windows and the thing is i'm on full screen right here and i can hide my bar as well and full screen so this is just totally there and then in three i just mostly put my terminal i need command i want to do so let's close this and close this look and then i have rofi so if any if i want to open any application let's say to know my file manager uh, OBS, my oh, basically screen recorder, anything I can do is, and if I want to open any website, I just have a key binding for that. Wait, and uh, I have a key binding for emoji. I want to copy any emoji, I can do this, okay. And then I have a clipboard manager, so it can copy. It can manage my clipboard so anything that I copy I can paste it twice and something like this. And then I have a booth manager right here. And then I have a network manager. And I have a music manager. Everything right here. And this is actually our craft distribution of our Linux. Yeah, I use our by the way. So our craft comes with all of this but i have changed a lot of this for example i changed the whole call scheme like row equals scheme this bar and then terminal i changed everything right here so it's not exactly our craft but i use our craft os as my base now let's move on to the second thing in my workflow which is tmux so Tmux is kind of a window manager. Well, you will see. So here I am inside of. Let's go ahead. So I just opened up a new terminal window right here, and you see I already have Tmux running. Well, it's not always like that. Like I open Tmux like this. So you can open Tmux just by typing Tmux right here. In your terminal but i have configured it so it whenever i open a terminal window it just open tmux by default okay so for example if i just do a lack ready normally you can see it's without uh it's without tmux and then i can open tmux by typing tmux right there and i am in tmux window Let's look at here. So, I just opened a new terminal window right here. It's Tmux already in. Let's make it a bit bigger. 
Okay. And now here I have two scripts that are from the Prime Engine channel. So you can check those scripts out. First script is very useful. That is my project manager. So like when I type a certain key binding, which is window, which is control space plus F, and then I can open any project I want. For example, Fizzbus RS, and now it created a new session inside Tmux. So every session, for example, if I do LS, okay, I create a new window and I do Fizzbus, Fizzbus RS, the same thing. So anything I do, it's just the same, right? It's the same session. Like if I type the same exact session right now, let's copy and just go ahead. And then I create a new pane at the bottom. You can see right here. It's two, uh, they are called windows. So the two windows I can see, I can switch between them. And then I can open them in one of them and go ahead and work on my project you can see and then with one of them i can run the project and it works and then if I, let's say i close the window and then i can just do fizzbuzz and back to where i left just back there you can see Another very good thing with Tmux, the another script that I have is, for example, if I'm working here, I don't know how to work with vectors. Let's say I'm learning worst. I don't know how to work with vectors. I can just do a letter key mining. I can search for Rust, and then I can type vectors. Bang! I can see vectors right here. Let's go ahead. And do that again. For example, if I'm learning Go, I can do slice, and I can do this, and then I can go ahead and copy the code I want, and I can just paste it. So simple and very useful. Okay, now let's talk about the final thing, which is Vim. Vim is the best code editor ever like really so i'm using a pre-built configuration on of nvim called nvchad called nvchad so uh, so nvchad comes with a lot of the stuff me main stuff i'm going to talk about is this data sign this new tree right here so i can open any file I want. this fuzzy finder okay and then you can configure your language you want for example i can configure cross in here so it's, it's like too good like for example let's save this file and let's go to mean rs file here i want to do print line here hello world and yeah you can see and then uh with the tmos there's another thing with vmos that i really like and that is alt h and another and terminal just open this is not a window this is not a window it's called a pane this will shallow pane so this is a pane this is a window and this whole thing is a session, so you have to understand um, Tmux at first, but then it will be too easy. So you should print out "Hello World" as you can see, right here. "Hello World." Let's go ahead and exit, and let's see our Facebook.txt. You can see we got our text file. And you see on the top tabs, there are tabs right here. Now, the main thing is configuring it. It might take a little or even more time configuring it. So let me open my custom configuration right here. You see, there are 
basically few stuff for example failed plugins is i mean plugins i'm using this in mcmp which is i think rust based something and then that virtual text another thing i don't know i just copy some configuration because i don't want to waste my time in this but this is mine okay let's see rust dot vim for file type rust vim swells cog dot and then cog swells and then crates this is rust based and then mm dap i don't know rust tools dot mm and then it also comes with and then another very very good plugin is null ls like you see i'm here well let's just let me show you so i'm gonna open my project let's open anything I don't really care. Let's make sure it's not formatted. For example, it's not formatted. I can just save in auto formats. Wait, in auto formats? Auto formats? I promise it does a lot of auto format. So you can see formatting and stuff like that. It does auto format. But I don't know why it's not doing it right now. Really? <laughs> when you need to show something more like there. So another thing is I can go to the definition. For example, when I go to this product hard, I can just do GD and then you see I'm in the product hard. And then let's say I want to go to let's say there's nothing that i can go to in this one for example let's go pages i go product pages and then you can see get all products i can just do gd and i am right here you can see so vim works very good than you ever expected most people like I am a VS Code fan, I'm not gonna use them. So, let me show you. This is VS Code. VS Code is very customizable, but Vim is on another week. Vim is on another week, and yeah, you can't compare VS Code with Vim. That's just how the world works. Let's close it. Okay. So that's it for the videos. If you want to check out my configuration file, I will make a repository of of it. So make sure to make sure to subscribe and turn the notifications to on. I will just post the link in my Twitter. So follow me on Twitter and also on my GitHub. So I will just put these stuff files on GitHub. Everything like my Vim, my Data One. My team looks in figuration, all of them. So, stay tuned.